Hello, welcome back. It's been a while since we last had a chat. Um, today I have a box. Uh, this box contains a watch. This watch comes from Guangdong Sheng. Is that a place in China? I think. Guangdong Province, Shenzhen City. So you can guess I got this from the marketplace of AliExpress. What a great place. So let me just uh, open it up and show you what we have in here. Um, it's it's well wrapped up. How do I get in here? So we have a black box with stitching, nicely finished. It's not as good as a cheap Seiko box, but it's good. It's good enough. I'm happy. And the inside, uh, we have a watch. Oh, quite interesting. It's not very well packaged, to be honest. It looks like it's just been thrown in with somebody's hand. But let's take a look. So this is the, uh, oh, sorry, this way around. This is the Chamery in blue. Hmm, let me see. So it has a, it has a strap, as you can see, it has a, uh, a wrapped up dial. Let me unwrap the dial so we can see the dial. Wow, actually, it looks better than the pictures. It actually looks really good. Um, what an impressive little watch! Plastic there. So what I can say is it's it's a 40 millimeter, or I think it's 39.9 or something. It's a it's a 40 millimeter case. I believe it's a homage to a design from Grand Seiko from back in the day. It feels pleasingly heavy. It has the uh, I think it's a Seiko NH35 movement. So. I think it ticks four times a second for a quartz watch. That is, let me see, that second hand's moving very sweetly around. That looks nicely finished. The um, indices are well applied. There's no date, which I like very much. I'm not really a big fan of date watches. I think it clutters up the, the face. Uh, the back of the watch, there is nothing except the indentations to remove the back. Uh, it has a black leather strap. It feels uh, a little cheap compared to other uh, straps I bought from online. For example, uh, I think, you know, Watchy, they make a line of straps. This feels a bit cheaper than that. But, you know, the outside's a bit hard. The inside's a bit soft. It's uh, easy to remove. It has the uh, removable tab here. You just push that and it'll come out. So you can swatch it out for any, any swat. Uh, you can change it for any strap. Let's put it on and take a look. So here you can see the sweeping second hands for this Mecha Quartz. It's an NH35 movement made by Seiko. So you get proper quality inside. It's a movement I don't really see on Seiko watches, actually. They should actually use it because it is a great movement. There is no distortion from the glass. It is actually really nicely finished. Is it a sapphire glass, I wonder? You can see the word Chemery Quartz. And the hands in this style remind me very much of the Seiko 
the Grand Seikos uh, from a while ago. It has like a 1960s uh, Japanese watch vibe coming from it strongly, but with the uh, the blue style, it has a, a hint of modern, uh, quite an interesting color. I don't have any watches this color, and I think it pops really nicely. And the size is just about right for me at about 40 millimeters. It wears uh, fairly big, I'd say, compared to my other watches of the same size. Strap is uh, new, so it's a bit hard, but comfortable. The clasp is nicely finished. There's no branding on it, but the size is good. The finishing is good. It's got a brushed, brushed metal finish on it. The case is all polished. All right, guys, well done. That is a really nicely made watch. You have outdone yourself. So I'm going to be thinking my 7,500 yen is very well spent. Look at those indices shine. Well, this uh, Chemery, I'm going to wear it today. Um, see how comfortable it is. See if anyone notices it. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. I have worn this watch all day. And all I can say is it's very comfortable. And the size is just about perfect for me. One thing I noticed is the at the very tips of their hands, it looks like the finishing is not quite right, but it is so minusculely not perfect that for the money, which actually I got wrong uh, earlier, it actually cost me sixty sorry six thousand eight hundred Japanese yen, which is really cheap for a watch like this. Um, the design is very Seiko inspired. Uh, from what I can gather, uh, it's it's kind of based on the King Seiko or maybe a Grand Seiko from back in the day. It has a water resistance of acclaimed 50 meters. It does actually have a sapphire crystal and the movement, if you just give me a second to check, is an N, uh, not an NH, it's actually a VH31 with a claimed uh, accuracy of plus or minus two seconds per day. Now, that actually is pretty good uh, as far as I'm concerned. It's actually made by Seiko Instruments. Uh, you may know that Seiko is actually not one company. It's it's a group of companies owned by uh, a Japanese family called the Hattori family. And within this uh, group, there are many group companies. For example, there's Epson, there's Seiko Watch Company, there is Seiko Instruments, which is abbreviated to SII. Uh, they often make things like electronic calculators and various other mechanical and electrical items. Uh, each division of the Seiko group is actually headed by one of the family members of uh, the Hattori family, I believe, from when I used to know. Um, this watch actually is a Seiko homage. However, it actually also is a Seiko in the fact that the movement is a uh, Seiko instrument movement made by SII. So it's kind of interesting that the uh, homage is actually powered by the original movement in a way. Uh, the, the, the beat frequency is actually four beats per second. So it's a two hertz and which equates to four beats per second. So it has a, a kind of like a mechanical-esque movement to it which maybe you can see the second hand there is sweeping fairly smoothly for a quartz watch. <clears throat> and uh, although if you look at it, it says quartz, it's technically a mecha quartz. So it has some elements of mechanical, some elements of quartz, although most of it is quartz, to power that uh, second hour and minute hand as it progresses throughout the time of the day. Um, what else can I tell you? So the battery has a claimed lifespan of two years. I think it's a three, 371 battery, if um, if that interests you. Uh, the thickness of the watch is just under 10 millimetres. And the size of the watch is just under 40 millimetres. Now, I'm not going to measure it because other people have done it and probably they can do it a lot better than me. Oh, sorry. Um, and with the strap is a 20 millimeter strap so it's a good size it's not too small like the uh, Seiko 5s which is 18 and it's not massive like some of the watches that have 22s it's kind of a, a nice in-between uh, they claim the strap that comes with it 
can actually fit up to a 7.5 inch wrist. My wrist for information is uh, just over seven. So you can kind of get an idea on that. <clears throat> um, the crown, one thing to notice on this, there's two types of this watch. One, one of them uh, is in, I forget the name now, but this is the uh, Chamery version and it has the crown, which is not got any pictures or anything on it. It is just a plain crown, which, you know, it suits them. It suits the design and given the price, who can complain at 6,800 Japanese yen delivered to my house? So overall, I am thrilled with this watch. It looks awesome. The size is perfect for me. I love mechanical watches, but I also like the fact not having to wind them up in the morning. And with this watch, it looks like a mechanical, the way the second hand moves. Uh, although I believe mechanical may have six beats per second, but this is four, it's close enough. Um, and every time I wake up, I don't have to set the watch. It is already running. And actually, I probably won't need to touch it for another year or two. Uh, there is no date on the watch, which means that I also do not need to set the date at the beginning of every month. And I think it just gives it a much uh, cleaner, a cleaner finish to the design. So this is a, a Mecha Quartz watch uh, made by Chemery. You can buy it on AliExpress, which is where I got it from. The price is always changing. There's so many different companies selling this watch. So have a look. If you like the colour, I recommend it. I haven't seen many people with this uh, type of coloured watch, but I think most people go for the cream or the white. Uh, but this this is one of my favorite colors it suits me so overall i am really happy with this watch it's so amazing for the money and i'm gonna definitely wear this quite a lot in 2023 thank you for your time have a great day bye bye